Saw X or Saw 10, whatever you want to call it, there's a lot of Saw movies now, and some of them are of varying quality, as we know, but I always get very excited whenever a Saw movie comes out, and in this one, Tobin Bell returns as John Kramer. The film is set between the events of Saw 1 and 2, where a sick and desperate John travels to Mexico for a risky and experimental medical procedure in hopes of a miracle cure for his cancer. But when that situation goes awry, he's armed with a newfound purpose— he returns to work, turning the tables on some unsuspecting con artists in his signature visceral way through a series of ingenious and terrifying traps. But before we get into the rest of the video, I do want to give a special thank you to the sponsor, Factor. Factor makes meeting your nutrition goals easier than ever by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. Their team of gourmet chefs create each meal using only ingredients with integrity to help you feel your best all day long. Are you too busy this fall to cook, but you want to make sure you're eating well? With Factor, skip the extra trip to the grocery store and the chopping, prepping, and cleaning up too, while still getting the flavor and nutritional quality you need. Factor's fresh, never frozen meals are ready in just two minutes, so all you have to do is heat and enjoy, then get back to crushing your goals. Are you looking for calorie-conscious options during the busy season? Try delicious, dietitian approved calorie-smart meals with around or less than 550 calories per serving. For both Sam and I, our lives are fairly busy and we don't always have time to cook every single meal, which is why it's fantastic that Factor only takes two minutes. And it's cut down a lot of time at the grocery store for us, too. So head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code STUCKMAN50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. That's Factor75.com. The code is STUCKMAN50 and that link is in the description below for 50% off your first Factor box. Thank you so much to Factor for sponsoring this video. Saw X is directed by Kevin Grutart. Sorry if I said your name incorrectly, sir, but he served as editor for the majority of the Saw movies and directed six and seven, and now this film. And six is one of my favorite sequels. In fact, it might actually be my favorite sequel. The Saw movies have a bit of an uneven history for me. I love one, enjoy two, like six. <sighs> Saw X is a good Saw movie. I like this movie a lot. I think it's probably at least top four Saw movies, maybe even top three. It's up there. It is definitely one of the better Saw films because this time around, the writers have done an excellent job to make you be on the side of Jigsaw. You don't necessarily think that he's as psychotic as he might be in this movie. The people he's going against are in a way the lowest of the low, people who prey upon those who have no hope, who are very sick. And so the traps that Jigsaw sets up for these folks, they don't feel gratuitous because these are awful people, and you kind of want to see them get Jigsaw's version of justice. But they're also not gratuitous in the sense that some of the worst Saw movies were, where they relied heavily on the ick factor. Absolutely, there are squirm-worthy moments in this movie. In fact, I have to share this with you. I saw this movie with my best friend, and there is one particular trap that made him twist and turn in his seat so much that he got a charley horse in his leg. He had to stand up and walk it off. <laughs> And this movie also has more of a believability for how Jigsaw gets his hands on so many of these supplies because he's using an old medical facility where some of these people operated. And so he's got the facility and there's tons of supplies left over and things that he has access to. The film also focuses a lot on the sort of mentor relationship with him and Amanda, played once again by Shawnee Smith. She has a lot of doubt about whether or not she can follow in his footsteps when he's gone and he's there to kind of encourage her. And it was strangely heartfelt amidst all of the screaming and cutting. I think what I appreciated most about this movie is that it really did put me on the side of Jigsaw, which is tough to do because he's a nasty, he does stuff, you know what I mean? <laughs> I know that like, that's kind of the thing with horror franchises. You want to see Michael Myers kill people, you want to see Freddy Krueger invade people's dreams and be creepy, but there is the occasional Saw movie where you're like, bro, I think you went a little far there, but not here. These are really good victims for Jigsaw. I would say the biggest downfall with the franchise beyond taking gore to comical levels and losing its intensity 
is that the story can be very convoluted. We're jumping back and forth between timelines to the point where I legitimately do not remember everything. I've seen all the Saw movies, but I don't have it all straight in my head. But every Saw movie kind of has a moment where there's a twist or there's a reveal. You backtrack a little bit and you see things as they were playing out and now you know what's really going on. And sometimes they're great and sometimes it makes zero sense. I would say this movie is pretty good, but there are a few things that I'm confused about. Of course, I won't get into them because they're spoilers, but there is one kind of logic issue that I'm having. But I'll say in this film, it involves a gun and a risk that's being taken. And whether or not they had to take that risk, and if it was worth it, because if it didn't go a certain way, things would be really bad. And I don't know that it 100% holds up to scrutiny, but it's a small thing and it's a type of thing that I can easily overlook because I know how the Saw movies go. All of them have little moments like that where like, well, if he just went over there, like all of this would just fall apart <laughs> if he just went over there. But that's kind of in every Saw movie and I accept it at this point. What makes this movie a good Saw movie is that Tobin Bell is great as Jigsaw. You care about him in this movie. The traps are effective and very suspenseful. The victims for said traps are people that you don't mind seeing inside the traps. And the mentor-student relationship between Jigsaw and Amanda added a lot as well. And this is really kind of a simple thing to say, but it looks and feels like a Saw movie. You know what I mean? It's shot by the guy who made Six and Seven and edited by him as well, who edited the majority of the franchise. So he knows how these movies are supposed to feel. I think this is a really good Saw movie, and I think that fans of the franchise who have suffered for even longer than some of Jigsaw's victims are going to be really happy. Guys, look forward to the 11th annual Halloween special, which begins on October 1st. My first video is going to be a sequel in a franchise that might just have another sequel coming out in October. It's a movie I love. And I can't wait to talk about it. Guys, thank you so much, as always, for watching. Look forward to more videos very soon. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.